We got our breakfast boxes and we're waiting for the balloon people to come pick us up. We got some bread, mm -hmm. banana, and another kind of bread. As we start sailing at one today. Well, we're a little late to the party, I guess. Dream balls? Oh, dream balloons. Dream balls. <laughs> they just pushed this basket out of the back of that truck. I think this might be our balloon. They're all so pretty. Valley. Oh. We fly with the wind. We take one direction and we speed. So sometimes you find us speed, sometimes slow. <laughs> So when we land on flat ground, don't leave the balloon, don't jump outside, okay? If you leave the balloon, the balloon rise again. Okay. Oh! Oh, look at Okay. 
Okay. again for the third time. Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> that was a fake. <laughs> oh, we're going back up. This one's stuck. <laughs> There's our balloon. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. This thing is huge. How was it like watching me take off? Um, all right. Yeah? Did you think I was going to die? Nah. Well. No. A little bit, yeah? <laughs> that was fun. Really fun. We are inside the Valley of the Kings and we've got three tombs to go check out. We're in Ramses III tomb. We are now in the tomb of Ramses the second son, um, KV8. This one is very hard, a lot of walking, but it's really pretty. We're at this large rock, very pretty carvings in it. Now we're gonna go into that one. We are now in Ramses the Ninth's tomb. Ramses the Ninth, definitely not the most well known Ramses, but has a beautiful tomb. Look at the snakes up there. This one doesn't have the stars on the sky in this area. Sun. 
lots of colors. So we're just checking out the ceiling and it looks unfinished because it probably is unfinished. Um, once a pharaoh dies, if he dies prematurely, they um, hurry up and rush to finish his tomb. About 70 days is the funeral process, mummification, and if uh, they don't get it done, then it's just an unfinished tomb. So, super cool to see an unfinished tomb. And honestly, this is the only people that still on the wall of them, doing the artwork of the hard stones and the grave. Okay? So, he won't give you an explanation. How is he? And you? Let me see. Look, just to see the weight and the movement. How is he? Okay? After we shipping the bus like this, how we make the hole to shipping inside? Yeah. If you look here, you see, we put all the bars in the ground. Two, three pieces, smaller like this way, and then we change larger and larger until we finish the bottom side. Not one side, many different sizes. After we finish it on side, in my bread, how we make the shape as you see, we finish it. Three times, four times, many different sizes as you see, as you see. As I tell you, after one week where the bars, it was done like this piece. Can you hold it now and see it from the two we start to move it. Look how it's like. Oh, it's From six. Sometimes if you put small candles, can you see in the light? All of them inside. All, all. Oh. Wow. Not much of the tree left, but uh, I guess that tree is going to be on the wall inside Queen Hatshepsut's temple. Oh, she doesn't. smiling. Well, yeah, it's very like. Mm. Yeah. I guess that Sphinx was the only depiction of her as a female. And then after that, uh, Queen Hetchetsu put all of her likenesses in a typical pharaoh form. But still somebody came after and destroyed a lot of her monuments. And she is the third most prolific monument builder pharaoh in all of ancient Egypt. Those ones are smooth and these ones are angled. And then the heads up on top, also different, unique up here. Ooh. Hi. Rocks. Wow. Yes. We're moving. <laughs> 